What's going on guys? In today's video, we're gonna be throwing some new East Lake shocks on here. These ones that I've bought are actually for just about any Arctic cat. You should go to eastlake.com and uh, you can message them on there and ask them which ones are for your ATV and then you just go on there and order them. Yeah, so these do have a 10% higher load capacity as well as their heavy duty gas shock instead of oil. And they come with all new bushings already so most, like, most Arctic cats used, if you bought a used one or yours just has a lot of hours on it, most of the time your shocks bushings are gonna be bad. So these coming with those just makes it that much easier where you don't have to make something or buy the originals. And they're also quite cheap, uh, you know, better than stock. You can get these things, all four of them, for like a little over $400. I know this isn't that important, but I mean, they look really good. These are the backs and this is the front. They're all blacked out and you can adjust them. They just twist and then you can adjust them. They look way better than stock. And the way that you can put preload on them is way cooler than the junky stock way. They're definitely pretty daggum awesome. I'm just gonna leave them how they are. I want this thing to ride smooth. I know it would ride smooth if I had this up here putting a little bit of preload, but I just want it to ride as smooth as possible. I'm not towing anything too crazy, so this will work. But as y'all can see, brand new bushings in there. It's pretty epic. Sorry about the little bit of mess over there. That's the box that these things came in. First thing you're gonna need is a 17. And then to get off the shock, you need a 17, I believe a 13 or 10. I'm pretty sure it's a 13. And then on the bottom, I believe on this, on the front, it's a, a 17 and a 13. On the back, on the bottom, it's a 10, a 17, and a 13 on the top. All right, guys, I got the right tool now. All right, so I took the tire and wheel off, and it's a 17 on there for your bolts, for your tire and wheel. On the 2010s, it's a different size on that shock. On the bottom, it's the same, unless I didn't get a 17. No, that's a 17. Okay, looks like they made this a 15. I know for sure on the 2007 that I just did, it was a size 17. Pretty strange that they would change that. That's correct. Okay, bottom part is out. These really are easy to change. It really doesn't take that long. Okay, like I said, this looks fine, but I just went ahead, even the bushings are actually fine. I am gonna keep these, but I just went ahead and bought some. Because I thought that this Arctic Cat diesel looked like it was squatting a little bit. It's actually the main reason I bought some. Where is the nut? Is right there. A little bit hot. Definitely seems like these are, they're definitely gonna be stiffer. Yeah, they're a little bit longer. Okay, now when you switch these to tighten. Now it is time to install the bottom. I think this is gonna make this machine quite a bit taller than before. That's pointy tight. Yep. All right, that side is actually done. It's just that simple and we're already done. 
We're gonna throw the tire and wheel back on here. Then we're gonna move to the back. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other front one off the camera. I don't feel like y'all need to see both sides. Go ahead, do the other side, and then I'll show y'all the back. All right, guys, I'm not sure if y'all can notice. This thing's obviously taller on the one side, like by a lot. I don't know if y'all can notice. It kind of looks weird. Can y'all tell how crooked she is? I'm not sure if y'all can tell. That just looks really weird. That just means that these things are just sunken way down over the years. It's definitely way taller now. Actually looks good. I made it to the last side. We're gonna go ahead and take this wheel off. Really, that's just coming from the shock, that little bit of movement. This suspension's held up very well. This isn't a very high hour machine though. What makes sense, the axle's good, everything's good. On this side, we have a lot more room. So far, I've been doing this for about 30 minutes. So it's like 10 minutes per side. Really the most time consuming thing putting the lug nuts back on because uh, I've got aftermarket wheels and tires and they're kind of deep dish and they just, I don't know, it's not the best design the way they made the nuts go way in the wheel. Next you'll need a tin and that's at the bottom. Be really careful with this. This is not a very strong uh, bolt when you're tightening it. Don't use tools. Don't use power tools. Do it by hand. Sweating in my eye. My eyes are sweating, y'all. Okay. Let me go grab that other shot. For me, this is like a lift kit because I'm telling you, my, my uh, suspension is really sunk down. Now the bottom bolt goes in. If it'll go in. I just took you out of there, come on. Cooperate. All right, so a little bit muddy in here, not too bad. Here is the, right here's the 13. 15 on the 2010, on the 2007 it is a 17. Then on the bottom you got your 10, and man does that look good. I'm gonna show you all the finished product after I get this tire and wheel back on. Maybe have a little montage, and uh, that should be the end of the video.